Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming my hair care routine and also some tips on how to keep your hair long and I would consider my hair pretty long. It's about an inch above my belly button and I've been growing it out for a year and a half. And keep watching this video if you want to see how I keep my hair healthy and how I maintain it and tips on how to grow your hair out. So I'm just going to start off with my shampoo. This is the Moisture Shampoo from Costco by the brand Kirkland and it is professional salon formula and this comes in this giant bottle with this big pump. And I personally love this shampoo because it moisturizes my hair and gets it all nice and clean. And this also comes with a conditioner but I prefer to use the ones that I'm about to show you because I just feel like they work a lot better. So my normal conditioner is this Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Conditioner. Now this is actually the shampoo, if you can see, because the actual conditioner in my shower, the top crack, and it's kind of disgusting and nasty. And I really didn't want to show you guys that because it's not that appealing. So this is um, for curls and waves. So basically it's going to get rid of all the frizz in your hair. And while I do not have curly hair, it's still going to like take all the frizz away and keep it sleek and shiny. And it is infused with a Wild Cherry Twist and Jewel Orchid. So I think that's uh, pretty snazzy, and it's also like purple, which is pretty cool. And it makes my hair smell amazing. And if I do not use that conditioner, I use this one from Pantene, which is the Heat Shield Conditioner. And this is basically like a heat protectant, but it's an extra step in your conditioner, so it protects your hair from heat. And it is Pantene Pro-V, and I love this, and I feel like it protects my hair very well against heat. Now, if I don't use a normal conditioner, I usually use a hair mask. So one of the hair masks that I use is this Organic Repairing Apoi Heat Ginger Mask. And it says it's an instant recovery mask that moisturizes your hair and fortifies each strand to restore it to stay soft. And this is actually pink, which I think is pretty cool. I like, like colorful things going on to my hair. And it smells amazing. And I think this works very well because it moisturizes my hair, leaves it smelling amazing. And I feel like it really does a good job of just cleansing it and moisturizing it. And if I do not use that mask, this is the one that I I would say use most often. And this is the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. And I am all out of this. This is, you can see right through it. It's all empty. And I personally absolutely love this. I felt like it was an amazing hair mask. And I need to go out and buy another one because it's, I just loved it so much. And it's as you can see, yellow, and I'd put this all throughout my hair if I didn't use a normal conditioner, or I'd mix it with one of my normal conditioners, and it left my hair feeling so soft in the shower, and I absolutely loved it. So, those were the products that I normally use when I'm in the shower, but when I do exit the shower and my hair is still damp, I like to take this Tresemme Split End Remedy Repair, and when my hair is damp, I would squirt two pumps of it and put it from like the bottom half of my hair down, and it actually repairs your split ends. So I know we all use heat, and I know we all try not to, but we honestly, we all cheat and do because, you know, your hair looks normally better with heat, sadly. If you're not blessed with natural gorgeous hair, then, you know, you gotta use heat. And um, this is a leave-in conditioning spray, and it fortifies your hair and um, prevents blends from happening, and also heals the ones that you do have. And this product works very well. I've been using this for a total combined, I think, of five months, and I've definitely seen a difference in my hair. I've noticed less split ends, and I've noticed that I've gotten less split ends when I do use heat. And on the topic of heat, when I do use heat, I use this heat protectant, the Pantene Stylish Heat Protectant Spray. And this is um, Pro-V, obviously, and I like to spritz this on the bottom half of my hair when I'm about to use heat. So when I straighten it or when I curl it, I use this, and I just spritz it through and run my fingers through until it's dry. And then I apply heat to my hair, and it's also always good to use a heat protectant because it will, I mean, stop your hair from getting even more damaged from using heat. And on the topic of heat, I thought I would show you guys my... I guess hot tools. So the first hot tool I have is my straightener. And this is a Chi flat iron and it is hot pink. And I've had this for a very long time. I think it's almost about time to replace it. But um, I think it's a great flat iron. And I mean, you know how to straighten your hair, you just clamp and pull down. And it leaves my hair sleek and it gives a great finish. So I like this a lot. And the next hot tool that I have is my curling wand. So this is the Connor curling wand in point in seven point seven five inches to one point two five inches, and it's tapered. So I mean, you're gonna wrap your hair around it, and it gives you great shape shapely curls. I use it to get beach waves. I use it to get nice um, fancy curls. I also use this like little waves when I run my fingers through it. I think it's a very universal, great curling wand. 
and I would definitely recommend this product. And while we're on the topic of heat tools, I thought I should share my tips to keep your hair long, or if you're trying to grow your hair out, here are some tips. So my first tip is, don't use heat. I mean, everyone says this, but I mean, it's really true. I actually did no heat summer this summer, and I didn't use heat on my hair the entire summer, and I definitely noticed a great difference in my hair texture. And, I mean, I set a schedule for myself to try and only straighten my hair once a week, and that way I'm cutting back on the heat, which is a really great thing to do. So, I mean, if you use heat every day, try to cut yourself back to maybe four days a week, and maybe cut down to even two. So try to, like, you know, lessen your use of heat. My second tip is to either sleep in a braid or a bun when you're going to bed. When you sleep in a ponytail, it puts a lot of stress in the back of your head, and then you get, like, flyaways and split ends right here, and those are not attractive when they're right here. And also, if you sleep with your hair down, that causes the hair follicles to rub against each other when you're sleeping, also causing damage and split ends. So I would advise you to sleep in a bun or a braid. And one another tip that I have is, um, what was it? I'm actually filming with my phone, so I'm like, I can't even like see my list. So what was my other tip? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had like a little moment there. But try to get your hair cut. So I usually get my hair cut um, around every four months because, I mean, the end of your hair is like damaged and broken, so you need to get those snipped off, and other people say, like, don't get your hair cut, you're just making it shorter, but even if your hair is longer with those ends, it just looks bad, because, I mean, it's all fly away and split ends, it just looks, I mean, it's not healthy, so I would definitely advise against that, and I'm actually going to the hair salon soon to get my hair cut, and I'm going to cut it to here, but I don't know whether to get it cut now, and instead of getting a trim, just getting it cut off to here, or until wait till the beginning of summer, or wait soon in the middle. So I would love it if you guys could comment down below what you think I should, when I should cut my hair. And that was my hair care routine, and I hope you guys enjoyed my tips on how to keep your hair long and how to grow it out. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.